the show draws upon very classic films, like the, the first episode of the season reminded me very much of Orson Welles' Lee Shanghai of the Glass Mirrors, and then, you know, um, with the update we got about that it was a last call, there's kind of a um, Casablanca feel to it. What other films have, are inspiring you these episodes this season? Well, he, you know, being from the feature world originally before I came to television and working with Rob Bowman, who's a, a feature fanatic, we always try to bring an element of theatricality to the show. Um, and when we talk, feature films are our shorthand. There was a, a moment in the two-parter where uh, I was talking to our director, John Trelesky, and I'm like, okay, so we're gonna do you know a little a, a little of the French Connection here, and then this scene is that last scene of Michael and the Godfather with the door closing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of our shorthand, um, and we like to honor the cinematic history. You know, it's, I think it's no secret that Castle and, and the central relationship evolved from things like The Thin Man and you know all the great screwball comedies and the Tracy Hepburn films as kind of that fast pace, even something like the front page, that fast paced rhythm between the characters and that it was the, the work of the moment that is the foreplay and the attraction between the two of them. Um, so, you know, there, there are times when we feel like we can do homages. Like last year, the, uh, the Double Down, you know, was a, a bit of an homage to Strangers in the Train as, as well. So, you know, we take our plots where we can find them. Um, and what I think that we've created are characters that are aware enough of the popular culture references so that if they find themselves in a situation that feels familiar, they can comment on it. And that's part of the fun of the show, where the audience and the characters, in a certain extent, you know, to a certain extent, are, are in on the joke. Interesting spot.